In this video, we'll balance the equation for BaNO32 plus NaOH. Let's count the atoms up on each side. Barium, we have one, and then this NO3, we have it here and we have it here. It stays together in this chemical reaction. It's called the nitrate group. So we'll just call this NO3 one item here when we balance. We have one NO3 times two, that gives us two of those, one sodium, and then this OH, that's the hydroxide group. Here it is, and here it is again. So we're going to count that as just one item. And we have one of them right here, one hydroxide. On the product side, barium, we have one, one nitrate, one sodium, and the hydroxide, we have the one times the two. We have two of those. Why don't we balance the nitrates first by putting a two in front of the sodium nitrate? So we have the one nitrate times the two. That gives us two of those. And then the one sodium times the two. That gives us two sodiums. Might as well balance the sodiums, and that might fix our hydroxides. So we have two here and one here. So we'll put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium hydroxide, one times two. That'll give us two sodiums. Those are balanced. Hydroxide, we have one of these times the two. Yep, that balances those. So we're done. This equation is balanced. So when we count these polyatomic ions as just one item when they appear on both sides, that makes the balancing a lot easier and you're less likely to make mistakes. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for barium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.